Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Civilization 6. We've had our short break from trying to conquer the entire planet. And now we're refreshed and ready to get back to it. So it's a whole turn to go into the ocean. And then it can start travelling. We've got... Zanzibar crossbowmen. Uh, no, let's move that one up onto there. And then fortify until healed. Archers. Start moving that way. You. Start moving that way. And the scout. There, right. We're now up onto the shore, so I'll go there next. This, this is going to be my next point. Choose production. What, did, what have I produced now? I've, I've got that one. I've got a commercial hub. Okay. I've got a commercial hub. We can build a market right there. We get great merchant point per turn. We can build Petra. We've got another trader there, which will start opening things. Another settler. That would be good. I'm going to go with a trader before... Ooh. Ooh. Can only operate on coastal waters until cartography is researched. Uh, yeah, I haven't actually built... The, I don't have a... Oh, I do have spearmen. Right there. I'm going to build another settler. I'll build it there. I'll go with the settler right there because... I feel it would be a good idea if we could go and settle down over on this island down here. We can expand our settlement. That's what we want to do now, I think. We want to expand settlement as much as we possibly can. Uh, next turn. Oh, we're straight on to next turn now, are we? They're done. That one's done. Yes, next turn. Okay. These are all exploring round, as is that one. So ideally, really, I want to go for, um, to be able to do some more expansion, don't I? I want to expand as much as possible. I've got the Colosseum, there's 13, that's 16 turns there. 14 turns on it. This is not good. 14 turns before I can do anything at all. Manage citizens. i got three of them here. i got what that one's on production, that one's on production, that's on food and food. Uh, production and re... Nope, that's about as good as we're going to get for um, our citizens and that, I think. I don't think we could ask for better. Let's go off of there and then I'll go on to... Niken. Manage citizens. 27 turns until border growth, so I've got those... Yeah, and I've got that one. There's 55 turns for another one to grow because I've got production locked in at the moment rather than using a bit of farming up there. This one's going to be slow. Whatever happens on this one, it's, it, whatever happens, this one's going to be slow. I've got 577, though, so I can purchase an item. I could actually just purchase a settler rather than waiting for one to build. You know what? Rather than doing that, why don't I just purchase one of these? Look, I've got Sais over here. That's a commercial district there. Commercial hub. Build a trader. Get a new trader. So you, that trader right there, land route range, sea route range, 30. So what are we doing with the trader? Can I do anything with him? Delete unit. No. Apparently I've got to wait. Oh, yeah. That trader there is going up through, so I can... I think this turn I'll be able to do something with it. They've got crossbows and everything they have. Aha, there. Select a trade route. Rakadet. It's my main hub. I can't do a sea route. That's a bit of a shame. No sea routes possible. We will do... Should we do Zanzibar? Zanzibar there is 10. Lisbon. I guess that's 8 turns. This is 4 turns. I get 10 gold in 4 turns on that. Let's go with that one for a minute. Begin route. You go along there. Cause it's, it's nice and quick running along there. And then these archers... They come up to there. You are busy healing. 
Anything else to do? No, there's nothing else to do for a minute. You are exploring. You are exploring. You have just gone down to there and gotten that one. Uh, yeah. Create with the heart. Build with the mind. Right. Research completed. Eureka, the villagers share a hidden technical secret. Your knowledge of engineering has advanced considerably. Nice. Uh, your research and construction is now complete. Oh, it's because it boosted my research and construction. It did that. Like, it, it boosted it. Um, boosted. Build an uh, ancient wall. I haven't actually built ancient walls, but I can do. I can now go and get to uh, build three mines. I need to build another mine, and then I get the apprenticeships things. Uh, let's go to you, though. That's only five turns, that one is. If we get that one done. And... Right. I want to build a city down on here. That's what I want to do. Right, I'll take you to there. I, I built the trader just now. So I've got archers over here. Where else can I go? Could I bring some archers over this side? They're expanding very rapidly. Right, they're, they're, it's concerning how fast they're expanding. Um... There, you put that. I see. Right, so they go in. That they, they drop into it like that. You got twelve turns before you're done. Sais. Management right here. So that's two. That's three of them. That's two over there as well. I and I want a builder. That's what I want. Purchase an item with gold. Builder, two hundred and sixty gold. You. Right there. I will use you on the next turn. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to build a mine on there. And then that's going to boost up the production here for Sais. See my plan? This is a cunning and wonderful plan. This is going to work well. It's going to, it's going to help us out. Right. You, Mr. Builder. That way take you a turn or two to get there but still now that one there i want to bring them down here so it'll take a minute or two to get there i've got a scout down here a scout can move on down here nice look at that yeah we're uncovering it all and then we'll go up here lisbon construct a harbor i did do that I've constructed... A, do I need to construct a harbour for them? Like, is that what that quest is? Because it says, um... Declare war. Direct declaration will destroy all of our envoys here. Prevent us from sending others until peace is made. And the active quest will be cancelled. Um... You... Influenced by two civilizations. Train a horseman military unit. Reward one envoy. Right. So then I go to there. Cleopatra 3. Influenced by two civilizations. Lisbon. Trajan's got three in there and we've only got one. So how do you do it? Envoy influence... Trying to, I don't really understand how this works. This, this bit right here. Six, five influence points per turn. Bonus is earned. Envoy sent. City state. Right there. Uh, trade route overview. City states. World rankings. Okay. I go to you. So quests. Construct a harbour reward. Construct a harbour district. Oh, it's because I'm still I'm in the middle of doing that. Right. Okay. I'm building a harbour district, and that will gain me some bonuses. I got 13 turns left for that. Uh, Niken, right here. I've got warriors there entrenched there, and I've, I've just kind of left them there for the moment. And what do we got? I got 52 turns until I get more. That's only going to change if I up food production. And I've already got loads of food production here plus science. 
And that, I want to keep the big production on that. I got a load of gold coming in on this one. I could... You know, I'm going to move it over from that one over onto this one. I'm going to do that. That's going to drastically lower that one down. I mean, yes, I'm not going to be getting as much gold per turn. But you have a look at this. So that's... It says 13 turns. Let's see what it does this turn. It should lower it. The Ooh. Gorgoemi. Ha vasileia sta Spartas. Ke hagemon ton Helenon. Tis esi. Tinas nikas hoios te si angelein. I am Gorgo, Queen of Sparta and leader of the Greeks. Who are you and what victories can you speak of? Well met, stranger, but I'm afraid we are too busy to stay and chat. It is an honor to meet you. We have a city nearby. Would you like to visit and sample our hearty black broth? Uh, yeah. Sample hospitality. Okay, I've, I've no idea where they... Oh, hang on. Over here. There. Olympia! Right. They will keep going with their explorations. Egypt. Oh, hang on. That's uh, just a, a galley right there. You are... Should I automate exploration? Go out to there. Right, I'll do that one there. And then you... Yeah, you've, you've already got your orders. And then I'll come up through here. Sais. Oh, hang on. The builders, they've got their orders. I was hoping the Ken would be sped up because I've got the extra production on there. That doesn't seem to have worked. Oh, yes. Ah, look. No, it's, it's, it has dropped. Uh, Greece has founded a new religion, Judaism. Invincibility lies in the defense. The possibility of victory in the attack. So we've now got defensive tactics. Let's just see what that one is. Uh, conscription bastions. Plus six defense strength. Plus five ranged strength. Oh, city. So the, the city will do really well. If we have bastions, the, the city gets a, a bit of a bonus. But I don't know if we actually need that at the moment. This one here, the, there are no more barbarians. I think I've gotten rid of them all. So that was not really going to generate us very much anymore, is it? At least I don't think it is. Let's bring you over there. There's nothing I can do with that one. All right, that one there, automate exploration. You may as well just have an automated one. Uh, you... Well, we'll bring you on down this way, like that. Choose a civic. Open the civics tree. Boosted by building six farms. Civil service uh, boosted. Grow a city to ten population. I need that one there. I need two campus districts to do that one. And found a religion for that one. Uh, feudalism. We we'll go with that one. Na Naval tradition. To boost kill a unit with a quadrireme. Defensive naval tradition. What's that? Navigation, naval infrastructure, serfdom, feudal contract, farm improvements. Now again, plus one food for every adjacent, two adjacent farm improvements. Let's go with feudalism first. That one right there. Okay. And... Is there anything else I wanted to do for a minute? I don't think there is. We're up to 216 gold. I know I've, I've got a settler there that I'm bu busy building. That one... I wanted to move him up there, but he hasn't got... No, he hasn't got enough for uh, this turn. I've got to wait. i got to wait one more turn. And I can build something with him. Right, what's that? New city-state quest. Kumasi City State has given you a new quest. Trigger an inspiration for recorded history. There is the Kumasi City State. So how do I... Oh, I can send envoys up there to them. That's easy enough. All right, I go up there. Kumasi. Plus two culture in the capital. If I get that one. All right. Let's get rid of that a minute, and you still got eight turns to build yours. Eight turns to build yours. It's getting there slowly, so the builder right there, we will build a mine. With raw materials now coming in from a wide variety of mines, you need to better teach new craftsmen to use them is essential. Unit needs order. Right, well... 
You can move down there so you're expl Oh, wait. I didn't mean to press next turn. Oh, well. Oh. What do you think of this? My offer. Iron. for th One iron for 30 turns. Then you get me one cocoa for 30 turns. And four gold. And four gold for 30 turns. Why are we giving them iron? I've got strategic resources. They've got luxury goods. Wow, look at all the cities that they've got. I've only got two cities. Uh, yeah, all right, let's do it. I don't know whether this is going to be a good thing or a bad thing. I have absolutely no idea at the moment because I don't really know what I'm, what I'm getting myself into. Achievement unlocked. Everything is awesome. <laughs> okay, that's an interesting achievement. Uh, you builder folks right here, I've got not a lot else that I want to do at the moment. I've got a settler right there. I've got a settler right there. That one's still producing a harbor. Um, go into Saïs a minute. There. Uh, purchase an item. I can't purchase a settler. Not enough gold in the treasury. I mean, I'm making one at the at, at present, so th that should help. Purchase tile. Do I want to purchase a tile, or do I just... No, I'm going to save my money, I think. So if I go manage citizens, I got that one on production. I got production there, and I've now got production up on this one as well. So that should actually help produce that settler. That should finish that off uh, reasonably quickly. Uh, unit needs orders, which is this builder... I think we will take the builder over into Niken. Even though... Well, actually, no. We'll, we'll move the builder over here. For, for a minute, we'll move the builder over to there. Because we're going to want gonna want a farm. Somewhere around here, we're going to want a farm. Um, right, the chariot. Have I got any needs? Like, I could bring this down here and I could crush this city-state, couldn't I? Would that be a, a beneficial thing for me to do or not? I don't know. I don't actually know if I want to go and crush a city-state or not. I'm going to bring it over to here, though. Bring you there. And I'll go through there. Right, so I don't have a great deal here. Valletta. They've got some builders and stuff. Do you want to fight? Do, no, do we want to fight city states, or do we want to kind of leave them to it? I guess that's the big decision here that we need to make. I don't think I want to destroy any city states. I think we kind of want to leave them as they are. I think uh, a live and let live policy. Normal is... people believe that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Engineers believe that if it ain't broke, it doesn't have enough features yet. <laughs> Oh, that is fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. I, I love that. That is a very, very cool thing. Right there. That is a very, very cool thing. Uh, ooh, right. Well, we definitely want that one to head over that way. I need to choose some research right here. We've got apprenticeships. Uh, build three mines for the apprenticeships right there. That one can come along. These are progressing faster than me. We need to make sure that we change this around a little bit. So there's the scout that's going there. Um... The archers are on their way. You are heading this way. That's good. i got to go through Zanzibar in order to be able to do that. But I think that, that yeah, I can do that, can't I? So go up through there. Like that. I've got five turns. There. We're now back to the trade routes again. So we've got this plus two. I don't get a great bonus from those, do I? Aquilea plus one and plus eight, or plus eight to Antium. That's 22. I'm going to go to Aquilea. I'm going to try that. All the way down there. See if I can do some trade routing down to there. Begin route. 
I may regret this decision. I may absolutely regret this decision. But on the other hand, I might not. And the fact that I might not seems pretty good. Okay, so I can put a mine up there. I was, I was hoping for a farm, actually. But anything has got to be good, I suppose. Um... The farm provides additional housing. That's what I want, is I want a farm. So I'm sort of thinking, if I go with Saez, I know I got 390. I did want to use some of that. Purchase tile. Uh, 100 gold right there. So now I go to the builder. And I'll move him over to here. I can build the farm right there. That's what I want to do, is I want another farm on there. That's going to give me a bit more housing for Saez. Which I think would be a good thing. And then we're going to go back that way. It's going to be our next turn. Uh, okay, nothing else I can do for a minute. No one's come back into the city. I think it's time to build a new trade route for that one. Might. Okay, I don't actually know what I'm going to do with that one yet. Okay, and you are... Yeah, move over to there. I'll build an item on there. I'll do that next turn. Got nothing else I can do for a minute. Here comes that chariot. It's taking its time to get down here, but I'm hoping it will eventually. Plus, I've got my archers over here. They're just about to land. Uh, unit needs orders. I can. I'll build a mine right there. A bit of extra production, and that is the extra build a bit done. So then I've got a scout. That one needs orders down here. I've gone and found the the village that was there. Ah, there's another village over there. That'll be our next... Yeah, there's our next move. I reckon I could attack the city-state. I don't know if this is a good thing or not to attack a city-state. I would guess eventually it would be something that you'd want to do, isn't it? Would that would it would it help you to do that? I got two turns before I finish producing these harbors and also the settlers, so we'll see. I I, I want to get some expansion going. That's what I'd really like. I want to be able to expand and build a new city. Ideally, I want to expand over here and and like start to to hem them in a little bit. Lisbon. Um, oh, send envoy. I've got another envoy that I can send. So we could send one to Vallejo. I haven't sent one to Komatsu yet. That's uh, additional culture right there. Lisbon, I've only got one envoy there right now. I'm thinking it would be a good idea to send another one up here. We will do that. We'll send another one there so that I'd like to get more envoys here than what these guys have got. And i got one more turn for the harbour. I got another unit that needs... There's my archers. They have finally landed. So we're going to start trekking inland. Um, that one right there. Go into the ocean. Come across this way. That's where we want you to go. And then Sias will end up doing the same. I've got a... Ooh. Next. Right. This is the turn. Now, now everything is going to come... Everything is all going to come together this turn. So we've got Niken up there. Rumor has it that Greece has progressed from Renaissance to Industrial Era. Good gravy. Okay, they're, they're doing rather well. Um, a little bit... While the Colosseum stands, Rome shall stand. When the Colosseum falls, Rome shall fall. When Rome falls, the world shall fall. Okay. There is no denying that that looks pretty epic. Very epically cool. We now have a world wonder. And I have a settler as well. So I want to take you. I can settle up there. I can settle there. Um, is there any recommended place for me to settle? Uh, there's no... Like, they, they normally have the, the building, don't they? It's, it's not recommending that I come down here at all. And it's not recommending anywhere over here. Or anywhere over this side. I don't have any recommendations for settling. Oh, no, I do. 
recommended that I settle right there. That is a recommended settlement location, but I don't really want to settle right there. I want to take a settler, and I want to go all the way over here. And I want to land there. And I want to build a new city-state right here. That's desert, that is. Uh, let's do it. Let's go there. They're off into the water. Let's see what they can do. Let's see if we can actually make it all the way over. So choose production. Rakadet needs production. I can build Petra, which is another wonder. Um, I can go for an aqueduct district that provides this city with a source of fresh water from the adjacent river. Um, cities that do not have existing fresh water receive up to six housing. Cities that already have will get plus two housing. Must be built adjacent to the city center. Uh, manage citizens up here. Right. Citizen growth is 20%. I got a load of additional. That seems... Amenities, they're ecstatic with the amount of amenities. Well, that's because I've just gone and built the Colosseum. Um, population growth rate is slowed. So, I mean, a harbour is recommended. And I've got that all the way out there now. Encampment. I don't have a military encampment yet, do I? So let's start... Let's, let's build a military encampment. Is there a bonus here somewhere for that? Um, no, it just says military encampment. It doesn't, like, give you a, a specific bonus on anything. So there's a, a chunk of desert right there. So I'm going to build it on that one. I think that so it's 12 turns to build that military encampment. We'll take that one. And then choose production here. I've got a new harbour. That one's in place. I can build a lighthouse plus 25% combat experience for all naval units trained in this city. Uh, I can build a colossus out there. We've also got there a quadrireme. Harbour shipping, holy site, prayers. No, siege tower, catapult. I'm going to go with that one there, look. Naval range. Classical era range naval unit can only operate on until cartography is researched. I need cartography. That's what I need, is cartography. Right, I could go for another trader. That's going to get me more money. They're recommending a settler, but that takes 20 turns. Or another chariot. I think a chariot would be a pretty good one to go for. Or a catapult. Right, if we're going in for city warfare... But we'll go, we'll go for the chariot for now. We'll do that one. And... Right, because I've got a chariot there. And then I've got the, the, the new ship is being built up there. Right. That's everything. That's everything being done for a minute. Fantastic. What? You are worse than sophists. You have different governments. Oh, I see. Right. They don't like me because I'm different. Yeah, well, I'm, I am a very different sort of person. Um, okay, fine. They don't like me because I'm different. Uh, these guys here don't like me because I'm not attacking enough. I'm not aggressive enough. Nobody seems to like me. I'm very unpopular quite sure why I'm so unpopular, but I am. Um, settlers over here, we've got those there on their way. Every, everybody's on their way. I've, I've got orders all the way through with nothing extra happening for a minute. So let them carry on. They need to go... Are they, actually, are they going to go round or are they just going to land and then come off on the next turn? I think they're going to land and come off on the next turn. Um, archers move down there. I want more military units down here, really. That's what I could do with. If I'm going to make it... Actually, I'm bringing settlers. And unfortunately, folks, we have run out of time for today's episode. Sometimes you just cannot take over the entire planet in a single day. So we're going to take a short break. We're going to wander through the cornfields. And whilst we do that, if you enjoyed the episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.